Hi brothers and sisters, I hope you're all doing well out there today. It's a nice day out here. It's a nice um, uh, March 31st out here today. And I don't want to come on uh, YouTube just, you know, making fun of or belittling anyone that's, um, you know, worshiping the Lord today as Easter because I, I, don't, I don't have Easter on my calendar. I have Passover on my calendar. I just want to make that straight. So I was led towards Messianic Christianity uh, years ago uh, from the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the breath of God. And that's when I started learning about um, the feast days of the Lord and especially to um, commemorate him on the true uh, Passover, which people say is Easter. But I know from experiences from my youth and growing up, whenever I, you know, had, whenever I celebrated Easter with the family, we never even mentioned Jesus Christ. His name never came up. So um, it was about going out to a big dinner with family and relatives, and uh, and ordering, you know, some nice food and talking about every other thing but that's not what about that that's not what uh, passover is all about and worshiping the lord on the day that he gave it all up for us so that's the important thing so um i know i've seen some posts out there saying he is risen but uh, that's showing you know you're that you're still on um you're still on milk you're not on meat um if you're still you know thinking that you're a born again christian and you want to commemorate him do it on the right day it's Passover so for me I looked up um, a couple of others got on my channel and corrected me but I'm I'm doing it because of um, um, I'm doing what I feel is correct so I hope that you all will do whatever you feel in your heart but I've prayed about it prayed in tongues asked the Lord said to the Lord Lord there's so many different dates that people are celebrating uh, Passover I'm gonna do it you know whatever you lead me to and some nice kind Christian said look up Zadok uh, uh, online and I did that so it can't comes out to be 14 days from the 20th of March um, Nissan 14 would be April 2nd so you do what you want and and I'm gonna do what what uh, I was what I was led to do so I think some people are celebrating April 8th and that's fine and well that's fine and good with you guys if that's what you're gonna do um, anyways this video is not about that this video is about what's on my heart and I was led today operating in the spirit I asked the Lord you know what is it that I can do and uh, is there anything you want to alert to me and sure enough he did lead me right over to Great Miracles Avenue which I do believe in is the is one of the ways that the Lord definitely communicates with us um, a lot of the uh, dreams come out of uh, faithful servants from uh, Africa so um, there was one in particular and it was um, it had to do with um, the state of Louisiana how a small boy seven years old was scared and trembling and his mother you know wanted to find out what what he dreamt of because he was so afraid and he said well I dreamt of this man and um, he was showing me things and I think this man was Jesus because he looked uh, he had an illuminated body he had beautiful uh, dark silky hair and um, you know he led me by the hand and told me to watch and he was very nice the little boy said so I think that we can assume that the little boy you know had an encounter with Jesus himself uh, many times I've gotten um, prophetic dreams in the middle of the night um, I can't honestly say that I've ever been um, you know I can't honestly say that the Lord took me by the hand maybe he does to others uh, maybe he does to smaller children in particular I get to see things um, to, to see them um, in a dream uh, I, I've seen many many UFOs in dreams um, so that's for end times so that's what he wants me to focus on and I hope that's what I've been doing with you guys letting you know that um, the sixth seal is coming soon and um, you know I do have it on my heart that it's probably going to be on the, on the eighth of April with that comet that's coming uh, there is a six seal comet that comes really really close uh, whether it's a, a comet a meteor I'm not 100% sure I think there's a difference between comets and meteor comets are like ice icy and then uh, meteors are um, fiery but um, anyway in, in any event um, what's happening on the 8th is big it's going to be a spectacular event with event with the total solar eclipse 
But um, that's why I say, you know, time has really run out, and the Lord is impressing that on more and more of uh, my brothers and sisters all on, all on YouTube. I've heard it. I've watched it. I've listened to it. I've read the transcripts, everything. But this is on my heart for today. If you could please pray for those in Louisiana. Um, I don't know if this is coming about now. I don't know if it's going to be thwarted, but that's what we want to pray. We want to pray that these biters, these people or these things, these beings are biting other people or will. I don't think it's in the news. I don't think anyone has been talking about it in the news. I think it's for a particular time period this little boy saw, and I don't know if it's coming up this spring or summer, but we can all get together and pray. Did you know that when we pray, it goes up to the Lord as incense? That's what the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation, that the, um, the, prayers, of the, saint, the prayers of the saints go up in incense. And that's what, he, that's what he sees it. He sees it going up to him as smoke, incense. Um, so if we could get together and, uh, and be in agreement that uh, evil will stop, evil will be thwarted, um, that their plans will just fall to the ground, that kind of thing. I think the more people, the better. Remember Matthew 18, verses 19 through 20 says, if two or more come together in agreement, as in touching, and ask anything in my name, in the name of Jesus Christ, and agree on it, anything they ask, I will do, um, and I am in the midst of you. So remember Matthew 18, verses 19 through 20, the next time you want to pray with somebody for some reason, okay? So if you have any comments, um, if you want more information, let me know, and I'll post that link to um, Great Miracles Ave. Okay, thank you. Have a blessed afternoon, everybody.